I mink wears a mink coat the whole year around. Club going up on a Tuesday. So we're in AP Bio beginning to dissect our mink. We have a newest addition to our lab group. Her partner ditched her for um, election what judging. Name mink? Oh, yeah, wait, can we figure out if it's a boy or a girl first? How do you figure that out? Oh, let's go sure. let's go look at our mink. Oh, we um we found our mink. Oh shoot. It's um a really cute mink. We don't know which it still needs a name though. Okay, I'm scared to cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it. Caitlin's cutting the mink. Ew. Not the mink, the bag with the mink. <laughs> We're draining out the liquid. Ew! <laughs> Abby, how's your mink doing? Um, very, very smelly. <laughs> well, it's all kind of ugly. So. Caitlin's holding the mink to prevent it from falling out of the bag. She's okay, smells. but it's definitely falling. I swear to God, the mink falls in the sink. <laughs> I'm making the sink! <laughs> It's like a dried rat. So we have now slipped the whole side of the bag to put out the juices. I'm genuinely scared it's gonna fall. We're just gonna hold it. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even look like an animal. It looks like roadkill. So we just talked to Miss Rumshack, and what did she tell us about our mink? It's a boy. So we, we got a boy. <laughs> So we're chilling with our mink. We have to like talk about why it's a carnivore. We think it's because it has sharp teeth. What else? Are we... What other reasons do we have? I think they should see the teeth. Okay, we're gonna show you the teeth. There's the teeth. Right there. They're right there. Yeah. What a cute bud. That's like inside of each other. Caitlin's trying to change out her gloves. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we were told to feel around. And I am. There's something. And there's fat, so like here's where we should cut. Like there, girl. So what do we do? Oh my lord. You're a mess. That's the first issue. Thanks. So here we have Mindy cutting the mink for the first time. I don't like the way that feels. <laughs> I like feel something when I'm cutting. Well, yeah. Can we cut off the fat first to maybe make it easier? Light bulb solution. <laughs> this is like a super fat mink. You're cutting its nose off. Oh. They're plugging its nose so it can't um, smell itself. So. Yeah. It's just yeah. 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 And so now what we're gonna be doing is cutting um along the rib cage to make it kind of like a butterfly so we can peel it back. Is this what butchers do for a living? Why don't we eat meat? meat. Is it like tough? I don't know. Is, there, you is there a reason some? why we don't eat mink meat? Oh, I'm sure it would be really gamey, really tough. Okay. I hope you heard me say, <laughs> do you want to taste some? Because that was funny. Mm -hmm. so, oh my yeah. Is this good? Oh, that looks great! That was actually really good. Good job. How do we cut the fat off? Here we have Mindy doing yeah, another just light like, bulb section. Lightly. Mm. Just don't go too deep. This is so sad. See, it's just can't like twitch. It's dead. It's, it's not, not twitching. twitching. I know, it's, it's, like, it's like rocking and that bothers me. This is That's the a digestive, digestive system. system. What? Because of fat, 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 shimmy. Carefully loosen the gray. That is all fat. Lick it. There's the skin. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> There's the fat. Chubby. Jesus. It's like me. No. Lexi, your mink has a lot of fat. Can you relate? Yes, yeah, so does mine. That I just can relate personally. So. Okay. Yeah. Are you just slicing yours off? Yeah, we're just, it's, it's pretty easy to trim. So that's just the fat from the mink's right, so side right there. Like, I went a little deep, so he has a little hole over here. Let mm -hmm. me get it. But it's okay. He's still never hired. Well, never hired dead, Caitlin but... Barenbaum for a liposuction. Like in how is that there, possible? And in there, down there. No, why are you guys pulling it apart? We have to to find everything. I don't think it's that gross anymore. So we just peeled off the digestive system. Like we like pulled the back of it. Do you want to show how we did that? Like that. And we found her uterus. Yeah. So oh, turns out we have a girl and that, those weren't testes after all. Those are just like anal glands. Yeah. Wow, so exposed. So what Caitlin's holding right now, that is the large intestine. And now what do we know about the mate? 
It has poop in it. Oh, so plump. Hi, my name is Mindy, and now we're going to take you through a tour of our mink's digestive system. Here at the top, we have the liver. Here is the stomach. So now we are trying to open up the stomach. Careful, you got something else in your tweezers there. If you want to know what this is, this is the greater omentum. It holds everything in place. There you go, what's in there? Absolutely nothing. Sweet. So what's in the stomach? Absolutely nothing is in the stomach. As you can see, there's some digestive juices, but that's about it. But the large intestine. The large intestine is completely full. So I've decided that it was definitely constipated. Now we're cutting the large? Small. Small. Okay, good small. To put it inside a jar to look under a microscope. So, do you think there's good? Yeah. Here. All right, you guys ready for me? All right. Should I set up the other microscope? Okay, ready? Here. Look at that. There's no. your small intestine. It's so narrow. Look how narrow it is to get through. Do you see that? Yeah, and there's crap inside it. Did you cut it open? <laughs> yes. We cut it open. I always had this gross stuff in it, and it, it your moved stomach? all over my hands. Your stomach? No, the small intestine. <laughs> So we put that section of the small intestine under the microscope, and now I'm gonna try um, getting a picture for you guys to see what it looks like. That's the small intestine. Yes. Come put the mink in the bag. <laughs> mink in the bag. So it's now cleanup time from day one. Caitlin, why aren't you cleaning? Funny. Maybe it's because you're not in our group. So okay. the first day is now over. Ugh. All of our minks are in that box. Caitlin, do you think you're gonna have more fun with Gabe tomorrow than you did with us today? I think I'm gonna have fun, but I also think I might strangle him because he doesn't like to go in order of directions. Mm. Let me present to you what we had to answer. I just washed my hands. It's page one. This is our mink, except it has hair and it's not as gross looking. And that's the microscope view of the small intestine. I just kind of made it up, but it's fun. Great day. So it's day two. Our minks are in the bucket, and we're about to grab them out. In the bucket, dear Henry, dear Henry. Brayden, do you find your mink? Yeah, he's right here. Greasy <laughs> Gus is ready to go. What's his name? Greasy Gus. Ew. Yeah, he's a little greasy, I guess. So we're now joined with our mink. Say hi. Lexi's about to do a hunt for her mink. Let's watch her do it. Is it the only one left? Uh, no. Oh, cool. It's kind of upside down. Oh, Wow, a real life mink. Oh, yeah. Caitlin, who's the special guest today? Gabe. Gabe! <laughs> only if I can steal this. For the period, at least. I'll give it back later because I have like four in my locker. Ew, your guys' is really gross. Oh my god, look at the face. Watch your feet. Once the tail comes out. They needed some assistance. Here's our mink. Wow, that's beautiful. We found a name for our mink. So she could deliver the kidney. Deliver the kidney. So this is a kidney right here. And so currently we're, we're, we're scraping all this stuff off, as you can see. Um, and then we're gonna pick which kidney we like more and cut it in half. So now we can go over and look at the other kidney. Uh, oops. 
It's like that. So like, here's our, I don't know. We'll find it eventually. Over here, I don't know if you can see it, but this is a kidney. Um, and then this is a tube that leads a tube that leads to the bladder. And then the bladder is this thing right here that looks like an almond. Super cool. Now you're gonna cut out the kidney, right? Yeah. So scalpel. <laughs> Oh, uh, did it? What is that? Here's our kidney. Cut it in half. Just go right now. Hi, Gabe. How are you? How are you? I'm great. Where were you yesterday? I'm actually going to Wow, was that fun? No. Oh. Bye-bye. Hi. Hi. Let's mom and gay and get it on. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be masculine. <laughs> so now you have two girls. I needed, I needed a moment. This is about that big now. So what did you do? Oh my god. I cut his pee pee. <laughs> okay. No! <laughs> Hannah hasn't touched a tool this whole time. <laughs> so this is the um, uterus. And like that's just like super cool to me. And they have a Y-shaped uterus because they have more than one baby at a time. So like over here on this side, there's more like under here because like they have so many babies in there. I was wow. So Caitlin and Gabe got their mink today because he wasn't here yesterday. Here's their mink. And what did you say their name was? His name is Rick. We're gonna leave it at that. Gabe, do you want to reveal to the people the real name of your mink? Big dick Rick. Whoa! Whoa! Kaylin's now putting her mink in the bucket. Should I just jump in? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll, I'll cut you off. What's your favorite part about Rick? The fact that he's packing. Thursday, I don't care about you. So it's day three of the dissection. Abby, how's it been going? I smell really bad, so <laughs> I'm just breathing through my mouth. Alright, so today we're gonna be looking at the heart of our mink. So we're gonna be cutting about here, and then we're gonna have to cut through the rib cage to find the heart. So, like here? Yeah, okay, off we go. So Gabe is our hero, and he just like cracked us all back. Like, I was able to cut most of it, but like not the whole like spreading it apart. Um, this is a rib cage, you can see right there. And um, now we're trying to look for the heart. So this right here is um, the heart. So all this stuff is like covering it. So we're trying to like get it off. And I'm just stab it. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, so once we get this all off, um, we're gonna cut it out, and then we're gonna show it to you. So that's fun. Eighteen. So I was able to remove the heart. And so now we're gonna cut it in half like a bagel. Wow. Oh, ours is pretty good too. Look at the dye. So you can see the blood. Wow. So here's the hole where the heart was, and as you can see we cut it in half, threw up a little. And then up here, this tube right here, that's the trachea, and then this, all these like red like string looking things are like dried blood. Gabe, what'd you cut out of your mane? Trachea. And why would you do that? Because it looks cool. It's like a little pencil gripping too. <laughs> We're cutting out a piece of the lung to look under a microscope. <laughs> this is um the lower lobe. That's all we're gonna be looking at. We was always together. Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. So this is our last time seeing Jenny. She's gonna go into a landfill after today. Jen no first. <laughs> wow. Um pretty sad. So I'm really taking all of her in while I can. So we just sang our farewells to Jenny. Hannah, is there any last words you'd like to say to her? No, you were disgusting. 
Jenny, I really liked you. Helped me learn a lot about bio, and you have pretty cool insides. I'll miss you. I'm glad you came.